Good morning, everybody. It's Andy with White Sox Restorations. Uh, due to popular demand, um, you know, folks have asked me, hey, you do all these little, you know, little projects on your cars and uh, specifically, you know, 928, since that's been my, my thing lately. Um, you know, would you be willing to make some like quick videos or show us what you're doing? And so uh, I thought I'd put together this little series on really simple, easy DIY, uh, common things that I see on 928s um, that you can do yourself with basic hand tools uh, without a lot of, you know, mechanical knowledge. And so um, I've done six 928s this year myself um, and seen, you know, numerous customer cars coming through as well. And uh, these are fun little projects you can do um, that don't really require a ton of skill. Uh, I think that says a lot about the 928 in general. Um, they're very misunderstood cars. I think back in the, the late 70s, early 80s when they came out, um, you know, at the time the 928 was a really complex car for those of you who aren't super familiar with them. Um, but now, like, you know, knowledge that you could only get from working at a dealership through the workshop manuals, um, all this tribal knowledge has eventually made its way to the internet. Here I am posting a video about, you know, 101 projects for your 928. Um, and uh, it's, it's not that hard to work on these cars. It's really not. And they're not nearly as scary as people make them out to be. Um, in fact, if you watch any production video uh, on the 928, the build process, the amount of attention to detail and the quality of materials that went into these cars, you can't walk away saying that these aren't well-built cars. They're really excellently built and designed cars. Um, so with that, today, we're just going to look at a couple quick projects. And this first one I'm going to record here is, uh, is fender liners. So this is a common issue with 928s. You have this fender liner, okay, which sits right up here. Let me grab a flashlight real quick. Fender liner that sits up in here. And I took the wheel off so you can get a much better perspective. But I have this new fender liner already put in here. And I just, just to illustrate, there's just a very, it's a very simple piece, but a lot of times they're broken and cracked. And here's why I think that is. You can see there's four spots to mount clips in here. One here, one here, one here, and one here. Now the standard size uh, uh, bolt for this is an eight millimeter bolt, okay, with a hex head. Looks, very similar to this, and you can see these ones are just rust and old from age. Now the fender liner when I got this car was uh, was missing. Now you might think, okay, why is that a big deal? How often am I really driving my 928 in the rain in adverse conditions? You know, is it really a big deal? Well, here's why. If you look a little bit closer, for those of you not familiar with the 928, there's a few things going on here. One, <clears throat> your headlight, your headlight pod is right here along with connections, along with wiring. And if you have a US spec car, you've got your reflector up here as well, okay? You also have your alternator hose that runs down along here too. Um, and uh, so, you know, if you run without your fender liner in here, um, over time, you know, your headlight pod is just gonna get peppered with rocks. And that's actually why I see a lot of headlight pods chipped on the top up here where you would think, how the hell did that ever get chipped back and up and around here? It's from flinging rocks doing this. And you could see the rocks and debris sitting back up here. So we're gonna vacuum all this up before I, uh, I put this fender liner in here. But this is a quick project. Now, <clears throat> you know, would I recommend doing this with the wheel on? Absolutely not. And here's why, because you really can't squeeze your hand unless you have, you know, dwarven fingers or something, uh, you really can't squeeze your hand in between the, the wheel, which even if it's cocked all the way like this, to squeeze your hand in here and take these bolts out easily, it's just easier if you take the wheel off, take the liner out and put it back on. Now normally there's also a rubber uh, 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 piece that goes along here that keeps it really, really snug, and so we don't have that in front of us right now, but that's gonna be going in as well. That way, you know, it doesn't rattle around at speed, and there's no water that gets past this, so. And for those of you interested, here's the part number. You can get this uh, fender liner, which is actually the same on both sides of the car. So if you're wondering, you know, do I need a, do I need a passenger side and do I need a driver's side? Now oh, the light's a little bit bad there. There we go. Uh, do I need a passenger side 
do I need a driver's side? They're actually universal. And so you can just flip flop them, you know, like this, and they'll fit on both sides. That's all you really need. Uh, it's four replacement, uh, you know, hex nuts for each side, eight millimeter, and two of these fender liners. They're about 55 to $60 a piece, um, plus the hardware, which is cheap. I mean, you can get that from anywhere, and, uh, and you're good to go. So this is a very simple project. It's about mm, maybe 10 minutes a side, you know, with taking off a wheel. And you can clean stuff up while you're in here and, and, uh, and do whatever you need to do. So anyways, that's it. Quick and easy DIY project on fender liners. Thanks a lot for watching.